Wine Decanter explained, when and how to use it. In this video, we're going to show you everything about what a decanter is, how to use a decanter, when and why you should use it, and what it does. How do you use a decanter? The process of decanting wine seems pretty easy, but there are a few things to note to transfer without disturbing sediment that will remain at the bottom of the bottle. A decanter is a glass or crystal vessel that wine can be poured into. Wine should be placed in a vessel. If you don't have one, use your pitcher from your refrigerator to avoid buying expensive ones. If you already have your wine in your vessel, then you're ready. There are two reasons for decanting, aeration and removing sediments. Both are explained in further detail later on, but here's the general procedure to decant correctly. 1. Before drinking wine, set the bottle upright for about 24 hours so that any sediments will settle at the bottom and can be decanted easily. 2. After a day, the wine is ready to be decanted. You'll need either your own jug or your decanter. Make sure it's clean before use. 3. Grab the bottle of wine and take off its top using a corkscrew, electric wine bottle opener, or a wine key. Make sure that you get the cork out neatly to avoid getting cork bits into your drink. 4. While holding the decanter at a 4 to 5 degree angle, slowly pour wine into it. Let the liquid slide down along its neck until it flows inside without making contact with any surface in between. 5. As you are waiting for the wine to breathe, look out for that neck of the bottle. You can also place a lighted candle beneath it, so you see clearly how much sediment there is and what your setup looks like. 6. Once the sediment settles in the neck of a bottle, you need to stop pouring. You can identify this because sometimes they're really tiny and it's hard to see them, but one way is that if wine becomes cloudy, then you know it's time. 7. After some time in the decanter, your wine is now ready to be served. When should you decant wine? You should decant your wine when you plan to serve it. To answer the question of how long to decant wine, there is no absolute time frame. Some say that keeping your glass for too long can lead to loss of aromas and flavors from oxidation, while others claim that swirling the glasses introduces oxygen into the drink anyway, so leaving them together doesn't affect much. It's important to remember that not all wines are the same. Since old wines are already aged for a long time, especially those about 10 to 15 years old, they don't need as much separation to enjoy them. For a young wine that is full-bodied and vigorous, you'll want to let it decant for about an hour before serving. When should you not decant wine? Decanting your wine with all the points made above does wonders for it, but you also need to be mindful about not over-decanting and only decant up until two to three days, or else that will just turn harsh and flat after a short period of time. White wines can also produce sediments but are more likely tartrate crystals. Therefore, these still need to be decanted. Sparkling wines, such as champagne, have a high carbon dioxide content, giving them their trademark bubbles. Decanting it makes the mousse or the bubbles of the champagne more gentle on your palate and is good for people who find that they can be aggressive. If you like those bubbly sensations when drinking champagnes, however, then skip decanting to save time. How do you use a red wine decanter? Decanters are designed with red wines in mind and work the same way as any decanter. Follow the instructions mentioned earlier on how to use one. Now, let's talk about the proper storage of a red wine decanter. To keep your decanter clean and free of bad wine residue, choose a decanter that isn't complicated to wash. The detergent you use shouldn't have an overwhelming scent or leave any soap residue behind in the container either since it can affect how good the next bottle tastes after being stored there for some time. Mild-smelling dishwashing soap is typically best when used with very little added water and swirled inside only until all remnants disappear before rinsing thoroughly under running hot tap water. Should you decant all red wine? Decanting can help you get the most out of your favorite wines. Although it is not necessary for all types, reds are known to benefit most from this process. Wine connoisseurs will decant the wine to enhance the people's experience in drinking it. They would serve their wine at restaurants and bars or just for their indulgence, so they would like to exert time and effort. Nowadays, winemakers aim to produce wine that will not create as many sediments for convenience. However, decanting still enhances the taste, especially in young and mature red wines. What does a red wine decanter do? 
Not only does it aerate and help remove sediment, but it also allows the wine to breathe. The shape and size of the decanter matter because it dictates how much air gets into the vessel. When exposed to air, two processes occur, evaporation and oxidation that change chemistry for a better quality product. When you decant a wine, the initial smell will evaporate and lose its alcoholic properties. If it is not done properly, this can ruin the taste of your wine by making it flat or diminishing flavor, color, and aroma. That is why there is a time frame of how long wine should be decanted. By aerating young red wines, decanters can soften the tannins and make them taste less astringent. This allows for more fruit flavors to come forward into your mouth. As opposed to the belief that decanting is pretentious, it's not. You can conduct your experiment by trying different times with a bottle of wine and then assessing how much better or worse it tastes after each time period. It also depends on your drinking pattern. If you're the kind of person who likes to partake every day and share wine with someone, then decanting is a good choice since one will probably finish it before it goes bad. This is most relatable for people who love wine because they know how long it takes to make wine. If you learned something from this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.